It is Wednesday morning on the Rancho. The Misty's still uh, sleeping in there, but uh, let's get an update about what's going on recently here. As you saw from today's upload about the emergency repair we had to do yesterday. Came in to inspect it this morning, and you can see that new piece of uh, galvanized pipe in there. So, the only thing we got is one little tiny drip, which is not unusual when you first put pipes together with pipe dope and tape. They'll be that'll be self-sealing, so that whole job is done and functioning well. So I'm happy about that. That saved about $200 on plumbing call yesterday which is always a good thing so let's head outside I've already been out there in the in the uh, garage I don't know what to call it these days boys I don't like to call it a garage because the garage was dickered this thing is turning into a thing of beauty and of course we always have cartons from tons of shit being delivered around here we got the door open and we are uh, we are underway we're gonna be out doing some metal detecting but I thought I'd show you guys some of the uh, some of the cool things that are going on uh, here, especially in the shop. You can see I now have a lot of my uh, a lot of my gear. I still have more gear that has not been uh, unboxed. It's been boxed for a long time, as you guys know. There's a zillion boxes up in the rafters here. Some more down in there, and it's all uh, it's all good stuff to be worked on and repaired because my direction is to get rid of some of the old transistorized integrated circuit stuff and move strictly over to tube amplifiers and tube tuners because I like it you know and it's uh, and it's cool but we're also doing a blend of the uh, modern too and one of the things I picked up at a big discount because the uh, second generation is being brought on is something called the uh, Raspberry Pi kit and what this actually is it was invented by uh, or developed by a group in uh, England to have uh, to have open computing and what it is is actually a little Linux computer on here a uh, small little Linux computer and this thing can do amazing things you can put uh, Wi-Fi on it you can use you can make an internet radio all kinds of things it has uh, um, some of the uh, you know the breadboard and other things so you can develop some of the hookup cables and stuff so you can do a lot of really uh, cool projects with that like I wanted to buy an internet radio set to stream it out here in the uh, woman cave right and uh, the repair shop I guess we'll call it the Rancho Repair Rosie's Rancho Repair that's it but the uh, the problem was the guy wanted a it was a real dick. It was a nice sand jam, but $150. I thought, you know, the hell with that. I'm just going to build my own internet radio that'll be able to go online. So I spent 30 bucks and I got the uh, Raspberry, what they call the Raspberry Pi. And uh, some people have done amazing things with this Raspberry Pi. They hooked uh, 50 of these together to have a 50 gigabit uh, RAM, and uh, you know made gigantic uh, computers out of these things. They've they've made uh, cabinets so that they could have uh, notebooks that they could take with them, little notebooks, because this is a very powerful yet small computer. And if you look, it has. Uh, some uh, <coughs> USB and it's got the uh, port for the Ethernet there, the high-speed cabling. It's got all kinds of uh, choo-choo's you can plug. Uh, you can plug your headphones into the sides there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're wondering what a Raspberry Pi is, you can just kind of uh, Google it and it'll uh, it'll show what uh, what it is. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. I wasn't happy with Linux Ubuntu, so I'm now cleaning the disk here on my uh, beautiful $9 Dell. I had to put a new uh, a new DVD uh, reader in there, which I did. And I have a ton of these sitting around here, so I just swapped that out and it's working great. So it's cleaning that uh, disk now, and we're going to install Linux Mint in it. I think it's going to be more to my style of the uh, Linux, a little more interactive and a less, lot less of the uh, the um, coding mumbo jumbo that some of these people really get off on with uh, Linux and stuff. You see over here we have what's called a, a Hampton. This is a FM model FM 800 from probably 1958. Yay, my birth year. 
But one of the problems when I got it, I think I paid like uh, 12 bucks for this thing, but one of the problems was that the tube, one of the tubes here, the rectifier tube in the back that changes, uh, converts the AC to DC power was uh, broken, I guess, in shipping. So I called the guy and I said, I'm going to send back the unit. You know, I do that stuff because it spooks them, right? Because, oh, no, shit, I don't want that back. I only got paid nine bucks. So he's like, I'll refund the purchase price and you keep it. <laughs> so, <laughs> play hardball. But, uh, you know, she uh, she fires up. I have it on a Variac. And the first time that I, uh, first time I turned it on, you better believe that I use uh, safety glasses. You can see them up here. Because you never know if you look underneath some of these old, uh, old uh, film capacitors and stuff here. They, uh, they might not have been turned on in 30 years or so, and they can explode. So I always wore that. So this is kind of a neat unit. It predated stereo, but you could you could plug in what was called a multiplexer onto it and achieve stereo. But it's kind of a uh, cool unit, and I'll turn the power up here. We can run safely at about uh, 120 volts on that. And you'll see the tubes slowly start to come to life there. And one of the really uh, cool things about this set is it has the seeing eye tuner. It's not functioning now because we don't have the uh, rectifier tube on there. But when we get this thing chooching and you can see a little bit of a glow in there, what's going to happen is, is this thing finds stations. That little eye will open and close. It'll look like a green circle on the outside of it. And if you don't have a station, you won't see any circle. And as you get the station tuned in more and more, the circle closes to a complete uh, picture, uh, to a complete circle. So that that uh, that generally mounts through the front like that, so you can see it on the front. The cabinet's in bad shape. The whole unit's in bad shape. But it'd be kind of cool if we could uh, get that running just as a uh, starter project, just to uh, refresh us on. Uh, tube equipment even if it is mono and then uh, yesterday this came in too this is uh, this is something I ordered and I was also lucky to pick this up for like twenty nine thirty dollars this came out of a Rockola uh, I think uh, Rhapsody 2 in 1964 jukebox and you can see Rockola on there and Rockola is not named for rock and roll it the guy's last name that started the company was Rockola believe it or not but uh, what a coincidence right but these jukebox were really big through the uh, 30s 40s 50s and the 60s and this was one of the early stereo ones but uh, it's going to need some work done on it because it has Jones connectors for electrical, you know, because this was one part of an integrated system. There would be a power supply. There would be uh, there would be the uh, gripper, the thing that would pick up the records and put it on, and uh, the record player. So it was a very complicated piece of equipment. I was only interested in the amplifier, because guys, you can imagine a jukebox amplifier to fill up a big space. <laughs> This thing's going to be kicking ass when we get this going, but we got to find out where the uh, where the speaker inputs go in. They must be somewhere here, or not the speaker inputs, but the uh, the input for the signal. You know, when it's getting it from uh, the records, but in our case, when it's getting when it's getting it from everything from a uh, iPod to a computer, uh, MP3 to uh, uh, a tuner like this one over here to input the signal so we have to do some modifications the volume control is just the off put to somewhere else in other words not something plugged in there to go somewhere else that's got to be changed out for one of these uh, chicken head potentiometers on here kind of cool they look like chicken heads right so lots and lots of stuff to do on this but it's going to be a lot of fun if we get that go going and this thing is in uh, this thing is in pretty good uh, pretty good shape. It is heavy as hell, but you can see it's got a lot of the old style uh, paper um, capacitors and stuff. All this stuff uh, could explode if this thing uh, starts up. So a lot of work needs to be done. It needs to be brought up very slowly. Nice thing is you can set your uh, your speaker power to uh, you know how powerful all the way up to 36 watts. 36 watts is a lot of power for tube stuff, okay? Like the highest they generally achieve for mass market was like 60 watts, 50, 60 watts. 
This uh, this Rockola will be a uh, kick-ass kind of system. So, well, I'm waiting for the Missy to wake up. We're gonna do some uh, metal detecting. The other thing that I'm really thinking about, guys, is I mentioned this morning on the Chooch the 1937 Plymouth four-door sedan. I can pick that thing up for peanuts. The engine is on the side. It's been partially rebuilt, but it needs a new head gasket. You know, I might take the whole shooting match and tell her right back there. <laughs> and uh, it's like I don't have enough to do. Jen would just absolutely brain me. But, uh, you know, I've gotten in the habit when I'm done all the projects and things, I come in and put all the tools away. So when the, when the uh, plumbing project came out yesterday, I laid my hands on stuff immediately. I didn't have to rebuy a lot of parts and stuff. So, oops, left one out. So I was really, really happy about that. Anyway, that gives you kind of an update on Rosie's Repair. What do we call it? Rosie's Repair Shop. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. And I always uh, value your uh, comments and uh, input. You can see there's a lot of cool stuff from the uh, from the ultra modern cutting edge all the way back to the uh, all the way back to the tube era here. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun.